friends, welcome back to another video of Anesthesia Tech. Today we're going to discuss components of an anesthesia machine. Before going to the video, if you're new to my channel subscribe or to my channel and click the bell icon for regular notifications. Let's get on to the video. An anesthesia machine is a complex machine is made to deliver the oxygen and gas mixture in the required concentration. Let us assume, what happens if we give that gas directly? First, the gas mixtures are stored under high pressure. If we directly give that gas to the lungs, it causes barotrauma. Barotrauma is nothing but a tissue injury caused by a pressure-related change in body compartment gas volume. Second, without an anesthesia machine. We can't able to deliver the anesthetic mixture in the required concentration. Next, we will see the pathway of gas, and pressure reducing components. Any gas mixture is stored in big tanks or cylinders. Through the pipeline, it transferred into various departments like operation theater, ICU, ward. There will be a yoke assembly and cylinders for opening. Besides, there will be a pressure gauge to measure the pressure. Then coming to the anesthesia machine there are, pressure reducing valve and pressure releasing valve, which reduces the majority of the pressure. Then the gas travels via back bars and reaches flow meters. Here in the flow meters, we can set the required concentration. Inhalational agents like sevofluorine, isofluorine are delivered directly via vaporizers. Its concentration value can be set on the vaporizer itself. Then, all this anesthetic mixture goes to the common gas outlet. Finally, we are having an adjustable pressure releasing valve. That further reduce the pressure according to our convenience. From the anesthesia machine through the breathing circuits, it is delivered to the patients using supraglottic airway devices or infraglottic airway devices. Via these airway devices, the anesthetic mixture is delivered into the respiratory tract. During the process of breathing, the anesthetic mixture reaches the alveoli. Then through the alveolar capillary, the anesthetic mixture is taken into the bloodstream. After achieving the necessary concentrations, it causes central nervous system depression that produces pain relief as well as depression of harmful reflexes. Elimination. During, exhalation this mixture comes out. To reduce theater pollution these gas mixtures are reused and carbon dioxide is absorbed by the carbon dioxide absorber. For this process, a special circuit called a closed circuit is used. This is how an anesthesia machine works. Okay, friends, that's all about today. If you like this video, please click the like button these likes can motivate me to do more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.